Hello, I'm Ben with New Tech Machinery. Today we're going to talk about adjusting your entry guide assembly. Hello, I'm Ben with New Tech Machinery. Today we're going to cover adjusting your entry guide assembly and your auxiliary entry guide assembly on a gutter machine. The reason you would adjust these is if you notice that your gutter lip that you hang the hangers from is either too large or too small by adjusting your entry guide and auxiliary post entry guide and we can uh, increase or decrease the lip. So first we're going to talk about if we need to increase the length of the lip. Our first step would be to use a tape measure as a reference where my right entry guide is and then I'll loosen the locking bolt and I'll move the right entry guide away from the center of the machine, roughly the amount that I feel necessary to increase the lip. Second, we need to adjust our right auxiliary post entry guide, the exact same amount away from the center of the machine that we did the right entry guide. So to do that, I use a tape measure to get a reference where it sits currently, and then I'll make my adjustment and double check. Now that we've moved the right side, entry guide and auxiliary post entry guide. We need to adjust the left side entry guide and auxiliary post entry guide over to the material. So we'll insert a piece of material, then I will adjust the left entry guide over to the material, and second, adjust the left auxiliary post entry guide over to the edge of the material. And then you'll wanna run a piece and test to make sure that the lip is the correct length and running straight. If you have a tape measure or a small steel rule, you can measure from the inside of the lip, from the very edge of the, the lip over to where the material is bent to form the lip. This should be roughly about a quarter inch to five sixteenths. So if we're gonna reduce the size of the lip, it's running too large. What we're gonna do is we'll loosen the right entry guide and we're gonna actually move it towards the center of the machine, which takes material out of the forming rollers. And then next, we're gonna use our tape measure to reference our auxiliary post entry guide where it sits and then we're gonna adjust that towards the center of the machine, the same amount that we move the right entry guide. So now that we've moved the right entry guide and auxiliary post entry guide, we need to adjust the left side. So to do that, you have to loosen the left entry guide and slide it out of the way, loosen the left auxiliary post entry guide and slide it out of the way so we can insert a piece of material. Before you adjust your left entry guide, you want to make sure the, the right edge of the material is touching the right entry guide and it's also touching the right auxiliary post entry guide. Next, you'll adjust your left entry guide over till it touches the left edge of the material and then adjust your left auxiliary post entry guide over till it touches the material. At this point, you want to run a six to seven foot piece of material and double check that the length of the lip is correct and that the material is running straight. The key to this is if you move your right entry guide a certain amount, then you need to move your right auxiliary post entry guide an equal distance. So this ensures that our material will enter the machine straight and run correctly. Thanks for watching today. This is Ben from New Tech Machinery. Um, if you have any questions on adjusting your entry guide to increase or decrease the lip of the gutter, please give us a call.